up YouTube? Gonna make my uh, first uh, fishing video for YouTube. Gonna start off uh, showing you my quick arsenal of fishing tackle. I'm about to do some fishing right after I show you this video. I just picked up this uh, field and stream combo from uh, Dix. After uh, a lot of decisions and picking up different rods, I had the Jimmy Houston uh, Pro Hunt Fish Hunter DX. I exchanged that for this. I had an ugly stick, and uh, this is what I just picked up to start fishing with. It actually came with this reel, the Shimano Syncopid, I think I pronounced that right. I might pronounce that wrong. I'm not sure. And it's got the uh, quick snap. I uh, took that off and paired it with my old uh, Sienna. This is the rod right here. It's the Inferno. That's the Field, field and Stream Inferno rod. It's a 6.6, six, medium action. Uh, yeah, line weight, uh, 6 to 12 pound, lure weight, 1 fourth to 5 eight ounce. And that's going to be my new bass rod. I also have this, which is a 10 year old, nice Shimano. I think it's pronounced Shimtar. And I just had one of the best repairs on it. If you can see and look at all the eyes. Here's a eye. All the eyes are pretty much silver color, except for this one. He repaired it so well. That's the repair of an eye from a tackle shop with the 24 hour epoxy and the curing process and with the right tools so the rod could spin right and everything. It's one of the best eye repairs I've seen and definitely worth the restoration on this type of rod because. I believe this rod used is like a 60 to a 70 dollar rod so it's more expensive than my combos that I have set up. Then I have the Shakespeare Ugly Stick which is like my catfish pole. It's medium action, 6 to 15 pound line. Paired it with a uh, Quantum Snapshot. Got this at the flea market new in the box for 13 bucks. I'll probably show some uh, pics that I'll edit in the video of it new in the box. This Shimano, like I said, I've had over 10 years with uh, this reel that my dad gave me when I was a kid. I put the old, my old Shimano Sienna, I forgot which model it is, it's an old one, 2000. And I'm just going to probably pair that, the new uh, Shimano I got with the uh, old rod. I'm a big uh, loyalty fan of uh, Shimano, so my dad, uh, did, I did a lot of bass fishing with my dad going to bass pro shops. Spending a lot of time store shopping and looking around the aquarium at Bass Pro Shops as I'm a kid and always had brand loyalty to uh, Shimano. So that's why I went back and exchanged today, even though I couldn't get a Shimano rod. I couldn't afford to do uh, separate pieces. I had to go to the combo and use a coupon I had for 10 off. I got the combo for 50 bucks with a 10 off coupon, it was 40. It was like another $5 exchange difference after I've been doing a lot of exchange differences, but I really had to get the Shimano reel. For now, I'm not using it. I'm using the new rod, the uh, filled and stream with the old Shimano, like I said. And my mom got me this last year, a surfing rod, pen. I believe this is the Pen 6000. It's a combo from a sports store. It's about uh, over 100 bucks, I'd say, 120, 150 bucks. It's good. I, I've only used it for a little bit in salt water. Never caught anything on docks with salt water with it. But I've used it for brackish water here in Florida at dams and Inglis for like big gar and when I know snooker out there in tarpon but yeah other than that I won't use it for fresh water it's even for channel cats and flathead cats it's a little too big uh, use my ugly stick for my cat and right now I'm gonna do some cat fishing with the ugly stick and some bass worm bass fishing with the uh, new field and stream and my old Shimano for bait for the catfish we're using two different kinds of bait. We have hot dogs, and then we have our magic bait. Catfish bait. This works pretty good. I've caught catfish on it, but the hot dogs almost work just as good for, it's like a secret recipe locals have taught me, a good friend, and it's a lot cheaper. 
I bought this bag for six dollars, but I know where you can buy better ones and even the same bag for three in Dick's sports store now, so I'll probably be checking out some of the gulp catfish bait for different lakes. That's going to be my uh, catfish set up on the uh, ugly stick, and then I'll be fishing just a rubber worm, Texas rig on the bass rod. Anyway, I'll update you uh, later when I uh, catch anything. And uh, oh yeah, this is my rod holder I just picked up a few weeks ago. It's one of the nicer ones, goes into the ground, pretty stable goes in the ground up to there. Got a bunch of Bass Pro Shop chairs that I've had in the garage for years with some of my old fishing tackle. This is my favorite rod in the Shimano Shimtar, but now that I got that eye repaired and it's so good, I'm kind of like laying it to rest as my bassing rod. It's kind of sentimental that it came from my dad, and it's uh, over 10 years. Really nice rod. That's why I wanted to get a new bass rod. I've seen uh, my friend break two rods in just the past week, one by hooking a snagging onto a tree and you know not being careful enough with it that was like an accident accidental breaking you could have avoided and then you had another pole that broke from just you know a medium sized catfish not even that big of a catfish a couple pounds and broke his rod so yeah i'll update you guys later and uh have a good one guys hope you guys check out my vid see ya